Hello there, speed demons. Welcome to the Overture Title Roundup. The first title we've missed is actually in the very first mission. If you let the Evil Lord cast a spell of destruction before you even make a contract with the Time Goddess, well, she'll still stop in. Go ahead and make the contract as usual, and you will just go ahead and grab the title no problem. Of course, you can get the no title at the same time here if you're so inclined. Just make sure you keep saying no. The next title is in Defeat the Bandits. Uh, one of the titles, or one of the bandits has taken herbs, and to get the title you have to buy herbs from both villages. In the forest, just destroy all of the different, uh, all the grass everywhere around the forest, and you'll be good to go for that one. As for the infinite maze, well, if you screw up ten times in a row, you'll get bad with the directions. The other title for this level is actually the opposite. You, uh, need to finish it without hitting any of the bad directions. It's pretty simple to see which one's which. The game does a pretty good job of pointing out, well, go here. Well, let me rephrase that. The game points out, go here, but what it means is, don't go here. If you see a, if you see a sign direction going the other way, if you, read a, if you read something that says avoid the bugs, well, don't avoid the bugs. It still requires a little bit of grinding unless you're on a, uh, a very advanced uh, profile. Mario the Profile's actually got global level 105, so it's pretty high up there. Even then, it's still not enough to do some things. In the Mist Dragons level, there's one called No Mist that just requires you not to, uh... I believe it's either don't get knocked out or don't get hit by any of the tornadoes, which functionally is almost the same thing. As for Castle Knights, there's two of them here that I missed. One of them is don't have the knight use any of his auto scarecrows. If you refuse to tell him to go in any of the directions, you can have him join your party early. After that, the other title is from destroying all of the monsters. If you use the Scarecrows, you won't be able to stop the monsters, or rather, you won't be able to get the monsters, so it is critical that you either take Knight with you or completely ignore him. Of course, this one got a little bit close. But no worries. As for the Dino Dragon stage, well, one of them is to go to the last village and buy that pair of boots. Uh, they do only show up there when it is the last village available. They cost, uh, they don't cost too much, so it should be easy enough to get. The other title is for destroying all the rocks in all the caves. Three of them contain one rock, and the last one contains three rocks. The one with three rocks takes a while to get through, but blowing up these rocks does automatic, or does, uh, rather, instantly create the pitfall. Really, the game just wants to check and see that you've destroyed three rocks. Not that you've cleared three caves. But unfortunately, this doesn't leave us enough time for the Dino Dragon to step into the trap, so we'll go ahead and skip past it. For this level, instead of giving the sword back to Roken, well, why don't we keep it for ourselves? Roken is still quite a bit of help. If you have him with you, he will drastically reduce the uh, Rock Dragon's defense. But instead, I leave in a lot of grinding that really would have been better off cutting out. So, my bad.
Oh, and even when I do finish the grinding, I'm not quite good enough. So in case you've wondered what happens if you get blown away by the boss... Nothing really. You just go back to the start, same as if you get knocked out by anything else. If I brought an herb with me, I probably would have been fine, but... Well, my hubris. Anyway, with one more level under our belt, the uh, Rock Dragon is going to be a lot less of a problem. Or rather, three more levels, I suppose. Meanwhile, in the dual towers, just warp back and forth repeatedly, and eventually you'll get it. As for the Dino Dragon, and uh, or rather the big dinosaur in this level, after defeating him, go back to the village that was destroyed and you'll find something special. Angel Diaries are just like the Heart Shards in that, well, they'll come up near the end of the game, so don't worry about it otherwise. Until then, wait until three seconds are left before going to confront the hero, and you'll get the next title no problem. But that's not all for the titles, I also have to pick up a couple of uh, Evil Lord medals I missed. One of them's right here next to the Horse Dragon, the other one's up here by the Mist Dragon's Tornadoes. There is another one in the cave that had the three rocks in it, for Dino Dragon's level. And the final one is nearby the hero's cave, and that we just expect this crystal and we're good to go. Please join me next time.